Today I'm going to show you how to replace RAM in a laptop computer just like this one. Uh, in general, laptops aren't exactly the same. Some of them can be incredibly diff different. So I would recommend getting a service manual for your specific laptop so you know exactly what to do. But this video is going to show you on average what RAM looks like, how to get it out of the laptop, and how to put it into a laptop. So uh, yours might not be exactly the same. <clears throat> exactly the same, but the general idea should be very, very similar. So, with this type of laptop, this is a Inspiron 17R uh, Special Edition, you can see that there's a big flap on the bottom, and this is where my RAM is actually under, and others are going to have several little flaps, and usually it should have a picture next to it saying what's under it, and in some cases there's no flaps at all, and you have to take out all the bottom screws and then flip it over and take out the keyboard, that's a huge mess then you'll definitely need a service manual for that to know which screws you have to take out and all of that. But most laptops nowadays have a flap on the bottom so it's easy to take out the RAM. So, uh, in general, uh, when you have the laptop flipped over you're going to need to take out the screws on the correct flap. In my case is this flap. When you take them out, be very careful to use the right size bit and uh, actually, sorry guys, I'm getting ahead of myself too, take out the, la the hard drive first Sorry, not hard drive, the battery first. Remove all external power, shut down the laptop, and take out the battery so that when you're uh, taking out the RAM, nothing happens, basically. So just remove it from all power sources. And then also, uh, there's a concern of electrostatic discharge from your hands, which is basically static shock. Like you can think of when you shock somebody after running out, after like rubbing your feet on a carpet, that can damage electrical components very easily. So. Uh, usually you should touch something metal before you do anything with computers or you should get an electrostatic uh, band for your arm. A lot of people swear by those. I've never used one and I've never had a problem but you could be the first <laughs> to have a problem that I've seen and then you're going to try and blame it on me and I'm going to tell you that I warned you. So I would recommend an ESD strap if you feel uncomfortable but I've never used one and I've been okay. So, um, Okay, so now we can actually start getting to the RAM. Uh, you're going to need to take out the screws for your correct flap and don't just like start railing on them because you can strip the screws very easily and at that point you have to drill them out to get the flap out and that's just a giant mess and then it's easier to just bring it to your local computer shop. So be very careful, use a bit that fits into the uh, screw very well and then apply quite a bit of direct downward force while you're doing it. Not enough to like break anything but enough to really give it a firm hold and then turn it slowly and make sure that you're not like skipping out of the bolt, out of like the threads on it. So then you can see that I can, I'm turning it, it's pretty easy. And when you put it back in, don't screw it down like super tight because then you'll strip it the next time taking it out and you can strip it putting it in. So just tighten it firmly but not like, you don't have to really rail it in there. So I have both of these unscrewed now and any flap after you unscrew it should come out easily. So if you have you think you've unscrewed all the screws and you're trying to yank it out and it's coming out really hard double check because a lot a lot of times there's like a hidden screw or a screw that you just didn't notice so be very mindful of that and that's why it's good to have a service manual because it will tell you exactly which screws you need to take out for that flap so then now that I have the screws out like they're actually part of the plastic like they stay in the plastic you don't take them out so if it's staying in there you don't necessarily need to take it out, like if you, it could break it trying to yank it out, so uh, just leave it in there if it feels like it's supposed to stay in there. And you can see that it's supposed to stay in there, like one of the screws is over here and has a special piece that makes it stay with the top. So now that that's off, what you're going to want to look for is the RAM. And this is my RAM. In general, laptop RAM is going to look very, very similar to this. I've seen a few oddballs, but this is generally how it looks. So this is DDR3 RAM, and you can see that it has this little slot right here, and that tells you what type of RAM it is, so you can look up a picture online to see what type of RAM you have, but it also should be printed on this label here. And how I just took this out is, I'll try and zoom in a little bit here, because this is the important part. There's these two like uh, pieces of metal on the side, and to get the RAM out, you pull those outwards very easily because they're barely overlapping on the RAM, but a little bit, that's what's holding it in place. So you pull those outwards, and you'll see that the RAM just popped up, like now it's like flexible in there, 
and it's in the slot down here. So now you pull it straight out and it'll pop right out. And there's usually two sticks, or in some cases even four, but usually there's only two overlapping. And you need to take out this one before you get to the one beneath it. And then you do the exact same thing for the one below it, where you push those little metal prongs to the side, and you can see it just popped up, now it's floppy, and now I can pull it straight out. Now to put the RAM, new RAM in, like if you're replacing it, or just put RAM in in general, you line up this slot. This is very important. Uh, you line up this slot with the slot that's in the, uh, in the slot itself. You're gonna need to look like where there's a bunch of little metal pins, and then all of a sudden they stop, and there's a, like, a mark, and then there's more pins. If you try and shove this RAM in the wrong way, you're going to break something and possibly fry your laptop. So be very mindful of that. So my uh, little slot is right here, and that's what I'm lining up the slot on the RAM with. And I'm going to do the bottom one first. So I slide it straight in, just the same way I took it out. Slide it straight in, and then you just push it down on the back until you hear it click. And you just hear it, heard it click in there. So I'm going to put in the second stick. So I push it in. Like, again, I lined up that little hole there with the, uh, the hole in the slot. And then I push straight down, and you can hear it click. And there you go. That's all there is, too, to changing out the RAM. Now you can just put the cover back on. And again, like I said, don't, uh, don't screw these screws down too tight. Like, just see, I have a ratcheting screwdriver here, which I would highly recommend. Keeps you from screwing it down way too tight. So you can see after I get to a certain point, you can hear it ratcheting, and that's not going to let me tighten it down any further, which is good because now I can't over tighten. And then uh, now you can just turn your laptop back on. It will recognize the new RAM by default, and you're good to go. If you hear any weird beepings or something and it's not turning on after you replace RAM, then double check that you put it into the slot all the way, and then try taking out one RAM stick and trying the other or something like that because usually if a laptop beeps after you just changed RAM and you're trying to boot it up, it means that there's something wrong with the RAM stick that you put in. So it could be the wrong speed or a bad stick. So in general, uh, if you hear that, then try putting your old stuff back in and make sure it works that way. And then you can kind of think that the new sticks are bad, which is actually surprisingly common depending on what brand you get. So um, that's generally how to replace RAM in a computer, or mostly in a laptop, but a desktop works pretty much the same except the slots are a lot bigger and they're sideways, so there you go.